Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. It's going to be a New York City travel vlog. I cannot wait. I'm going for my best friend from college's wedding. It's going to be a black tie wedding in Brooklyn in the fall. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to dress up for like the cocktail welcome drinks, the black tie wedding, the day after like day party brunch. Just going to be catching up with so many friends at the wedding events and then also seeing a few other girlfriends. I hardly ever have alone time these days as a stay at home mom of a toddler. So I'm just looking forward to having some time on my own, taking walks, grabbing some food. I'm staying at an Airbnb all by myself. It's just going to be so, so peaceful. So I want to pack. <laughs> I thought I'd show you guys what I'm packing. I'm actually trying rent the runway, like very unsponsored, very raw, real person, just trying it. Also, I just got a Kindle. So this is the Kindle. Yeah, I think it's the paperweight. I wanted the smallest, lightest one just so it'd be easy. I'm really looking for like a screen replacement. I've gotten into this horrible, horrible habit of staying up late and just like listening to YouTube and podcasts just like into the night in bed. Don't ask me why. I don't feel good about it. I know it's affecting my sleep, but I'm kind of addicted to it. Just plain and honest, telling you the truth. Anyway, I figured the Kindle would be like a good in-between. I downloaded the Libby app. If you guys use the Libby app, it's the best. Just free stuff through your library card. Anyway, I just was looking up some like classic comedy novels. I loved to laugh. I'm looking for something light. So I'm reading Nora Ephron's I Feel Bad About My Neck. And then I also downloaded The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton. Obviously, that's a classic novel. I just feel like I need to like brush up on all my literary references. I've never read that one. So that's the deal with the Kindle. Let's get packing. Let me show you the highlights of my Rent the Runway pieces, a little sneak peek on my formal wear. And then tomorrow morning, I'm leaving a bright and early at 5 a.m. Flying out of here in Montana through Denver and then into New York City. Let's do it. All right, let's start with my Rent the Runway winners. First off is just this black sweater dress. It's a maxi, it's super stretchy. I feel like the day after the wedding, this is like very polished and sleek, but coziness, like wearing sweats outside. Also, I feel like I could wear this on the plane. Next, I'll show you my handbag. It is what? Philip Lim. I'm not a designer girl. I will say I thought Rent the Runway would have more like designers, but a lot of it's just like Revolve brands. But I will say this is a really nice bag. It's a bit cash for a black tie, but I feel like it's great for the rest of the trip. I've always liked that braided leather look. Okay, my formal dresses. <laughs> so this is like a short black mini dress, LBD baby. Puff sleeves that go across your arms. Sweetheart neckline, it has a really great corset built in. And it's just really, really cool, kind of 80s. And I'm wearing this with black nylons and closed toe heels, long leg in it, short dress, rocking it. So that's my first night welcome drinks, semi-formal. It's a bit formal for semi-formal, but it's a black tie weekend. Then my formal dress is this long blue velvet dress. And this was the third try of the formal dresses that I tried from Rent the Runway. And honestly, I did not think it would necessarily fit. I just thought kind of like the bottom of the velvet would be a little hokey here at the seam, but honestly, it's pretty incredible. It's very forgiving and is really draped nicely in the front over your tummy. So you just feel kind of like a million bucks. And it also has a corset within. And honestly, I'm just like not a cute curvy lady. I'm more just like straight up and down athletic. And this makes me feel like Marilyn Monroe for a straight up and down person. Anyway, gorgeous blue dress. I just feel like it's so classy and easy. And I actually bought a new pair of heels. I hate buying heels just for occasion but sometimes you just have to. Like I had a pair of open toe shoes that just looked stupid. <laughs> so these are my shoes from Amazon and I don't like to like support Amazon necessarily, but I could not find any pairs of shoes that I liked that were comfortable in person here. And now that I'm in Whitefish, Montana, it's really hard to get things delivered. Like two day does not exist. Once I decided on the dresses, I needed a closed toe shoe and here we are. And I had tried these on and no joke, they look so good and they're so comfortable. I think I'll wear these a lot in the future. So hopefully I get a ton of wear. They have built-in cushion. Those are my shoes. And then the jackets, all the coats, I tried on three kind of like wool long coats and they were all a bust, all a freaking bust from Rent the Runway. I'm actually just wearing my leather jacket, which isn't blocked high. This one, I wear it like every video. It looks like a men's suit blazer. And honestly, I'll just like whip it off right as I'm entering the door and like who's gonna be checking off the black tie requirements, nobody. And then honestly, I can wear this one the rest of the weekend when it's like more cash, when I'm just meeting friends for coffee. Oh, I also got a pair of black boots. <laughs> I have been on a bit of a shopping bender. I do talk about this on the channel or I've mentioned it before and like shopping tips, etc. Like I go in these waves and I don't know about you, but it's kind of like maybe, maybe it's seasonal. Like three or four times a year, I just like crave all this new stuff. So I'll do like a big 
cleanse. So I'm like letting go of summer and moving into fall. And I bought a pair of suede boots on Poshmark. Having a pair of like knee-high or over-the-knee suede boots is just like my jam for fall and winter. It makes me feel very glamorous. It makes every outfit look cool. I would say those are the highlights. Those are the things I'm packing. Then I'm packing just a pair of jeans, a pair of yoga pants, sneakers, and like a pair of sweats. That really sums it all up. So let's throw all of this S-H-I-T in the bag, get it all packed up, and then I'll see you guys in the morning. just got to the Denver airport. My first flight was good. I finished my first book on my Kindle, and now I'm gonna do a little bit of editing for this week's video, and then hop on the flight to New York. It is on time. Hello from NYC, just got here this morning. You can see the Empire State Building if you look really close out there, yeah. So it's like 4.30 p.m. East Coast time. My flights were very easy, God bless. And I got to the Airbnb and it's really nice. It's like a brand new, brand new to me <laughs> building. I'm in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. That's where all the wedding stuff is going on and I actually have some friends that live here too, which is so nice. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick little Airbnb tour. I'm the only one here, but it's like a two bedroom. So let me show you around. Here's the front little door. We've got a nice kitchen. The bathroom is this way, birds. And then over here we have a living room. Honestly, it's just way cuter in here than I expected. They have this green sofa. I feel like I've always wanted a green velvet sofa, but is it practical? I don't know. Cute for pictures, that's for dang sure. And I gave you guys a little sneak peek of the view, but there's the water and there's Manhattan. And then over here we have the bedroom. I will be slumbering and getting my beauty rest in. And then there's one other bedroom over here, which I'm just gonna be using as a dressing room. And I already started unpacking my bag because I'm wearing this cocktail dress tonight, my Rent the Runway dress. And it's the strangest thing. It's the most wrinkle prone fabric I've ever seen in my life. I've tried steaming, I've tried ironing, I've tried steaming and ironing. Then I put it super flat in my bag and I'm like, it's gonna be perfect when I get it here. And <laughs> it's literally so wrinkly. I've never dealt with anything like this. I don't know. I'm just trying not to stress about it. Like, what can you do? What can you do? I'm gonna get ready for a walk now. My friend Vio, it's one of my best friends from college. She lives here in Greenpoint. She's meeting me to go for a walk. And then I need to eat something because at 8 p.m., baby, is our first wedding event. So I'm gonna get all beautified. I think like I might add some more curls, put my hair up, red lip. It's gonna be sexy times for me. Okay, let's go on our walk. Greetings, I forgot to take any clips of the walk. We were just like too deep in conversation, but it was so good. Catching up with an old friend, I just grabbed a sub sandwich. It's like a chicken, chicken parm of sorts and I got some of those little like probiotic sodas. And now it's time to scarf this bad boy down and then, yeah, get beautified. Wow, the wind is really giving my hair a blow. We are back in the bathroom. I just piled on the makeup I already had on. I didn't wear any on the plane, but I put on a light face to meet my friend and then I just was like, you know what? I'm not even like showering or washing my hair. I think I mentioned in my last vlog that I've been really wanting to try this e.l.f. guava colored like cream blush. And you guys, it is like the answer to all answers except it's really shimmery. So it like does not work for like a natural no makeup makeup, but the consistency is like everything I've ever looked for in a cream blush. I was like, I have a bunch on already. Screw it, I'll put a little more on. It's super pigmented. I barely just touched it on my skin and it's just like super soft. But yeah, you can see it has gold shimmer in it, which is perfect for like a really dressy night like tonight, but 
I prefer there was no shimmer. Okay, let's do lips because the lips are like the whole thing. So I recently have been trying this CoverGirl lipstick. The packaging is super uncute and old lady. Simply Ageless Lip Flip Liner. And then I'm gonna try to accentuate my Cupid's bow. I love kind of like the Taylor Swift Cupid's bow. I feel like if you don't have big lips, that's like a fun way to accentuate. Ooh, makeup is done. Here are the red lips. I feel like we're not having very naturally plump, juicy lips. I know that's what's been in fashion for a while. I actually saw someone the other day, like a barista with a very like thin lips, but a really beautiful shape. And she had on this really nice lip liner. And I'm like, your lips look really hot. They look good. So anyway, I'm trying to highlight my, my small lips. I'm gonna go steam or iron rather my little dress. Hopefully get the wrinkles out and then throw it on. Hello, I am beautified. You guys, I feel like when I have a vision for like a wedding outfit or formal event, Whenever I actually execute it, it's only like a six or seven out of 10 based on my vision. And this one's like a nine, I'm pretty happy. And I feel like my dress, okay, so it's this little black dress, very like 80s with the sleeves. It's like a really tasteful length and I'm wearing black nylons. And then I have these new heels. They're kind of like Mary Jane ankle strap heels. I feel like it's super classy and it is semi-formal. I feel like I'm a little dressed up for like the welcome drinks. Like I feel like a lot of people will be dressed like this for the wedding, but I think I'm gonna leave my hair down. It's a bit more cash. So like my plan to curl it last night and wear it all day on the plane worked for me because it's still looking really cute and kind of like more natural. Like obviously it's been styled, but not trying too hard. And I feel like more of like a curly updo makes it a little too like prom-tastic. So I did forget <laughs> my heat protective for my hair hair. I thought I was bringing this little bottle from like a previous trip, but it was like sun bum sunscreen. <laughs> so I just used some of my body oil and like rubbed it through the ends of my hair to make it look a little less frizzy lizzy. Okay, let me show you the full bond. Okay, you can see the dress. I feel like it looks really like classy and beautiful. And also I just got my hair cut and it's like right at shoulder length. So I feel like doo -doo 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 -doo. that's the vibe. And you guys, I just took a look outside and I thought it was just like an abandoned parking lot in front of this apartment building, but it's actually a drive-in movie theater. It's called like Skyline Drive-In Movie. And there was some, been some cute little messages like, happy birthday, Allie. Okay, let's go. I'm not gonna bring my camera out, but I'll try to take a couple clips on my phone if I remember. And I'll check in with you guys in the morning. so funny when youtubers like wake up because you obviously have to like get out of bed set up your camera and then come like lay down again anyway i've been awake reading my little kindle you guys i finished the book by nora efron she did when harry met sally which is my absolute favorite rom-com you have probably seen it but if you have not just go watch it right now it's just so smart so cute so funny if you love love which who doesn't and i was hoping to go out and get myself a nice little coffee but the rain has stopped that venture so i brought those little starbucks like <laughs> dissolvable via packets if your coffee snob you will probably be horrified but if you're just like a regular person who wants a cup of coffee they're amazing we use them for camping but i like them for just any old time and there was some french vanilla creamer that the previous tenant left yeah that's what i'm sipping on here it's honestly bomb <laughs> Hello, I am finally up and at him. It's like 12.30. <laughs> I've had the laziest rainy day morning. It's just been perfect. I'm just cruising around, like doing absolutely nothing. I'm not gonna lie, I already miss Whitefish. Like I really, really like where we're at. I love Montana and so I'm missing it already. It's so beautiful there. It's very beautiful here in the city too. It's like clearing up. The Empire State Building's peeking out. I keep mentioning it, but it's like <laughs> really big and right here. We're gonna pop out. I just kind of like did some fresh everyday makeup. I mean, when in New York, you wanna look stylish. So this is like my natural glam, I guess you could say. I found a hair straightener in the drawer. <laughs> so I used that and like strained my hair and curled it under a little. The top layers are still growing out from my pixie cut. And so I don't love how it frames my face at the moment. So I like to pull it back a little bit still. So I have cute little fun going on. I love a scrunchy moment. And then for my outfit, I have on just a little white tank top, this black cardigan. And then on bottom, I have on jeans and boots, boots, boots. So that's my outfit. Now I'm gonna go meet some friends. I'm gonna call a ride and go down to this like vegan pizza place in Williamsburg. It's called Plata. Gonna head down there and get a plate of food. So let's get moving. I'm gonna make the bed real quick and then head over to lunch. We are back by the green coach. 
Lunch was really good. I didn't take any clips. I was just like talking to my friends and like, what am I gonna do? Film their meatballs. Anyway, I just did my makeup for the wedding. Basically, I did the exact same makeup as last night, just a little bit more heavy, like darker brows by the end of the night when I'm dancing up a storm, they're not like totally melting off. And then I think this is the best updo I've ever done. Basically, I just got a ponytail holder and elastic and did a ponytail dead center of my head slightly up. Then I left hair down all around it, below, sides, above. And then I just started pinning it back. So I did a teeny bit of teasing back there. Oh shit. Oh, I think I just pulled a little piece out. <laughs> I just like love volume and I love like a romantic updo. And then I just started pinning the pieces back, back, back. And the bottom like lurking ones, I pinned them up. And then I'm leaving out these pieces. I'm gonna throw on my dress now and then do final touches. I need to leave here in like 15, 20. So it's actually perfect. I'm ahead of sketch. Yeah. Okay, let me show you the full bod because I need to walk out the door. Blue velvet, blue velvet. Going. Hey, a nice little ruching, ruching here. I feel like it's very old Hollywood glam. So I'm feeling glamorous. OMG drama. These overs, man, they have taken two minutes every time, but I just called one and it was like thinking, 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 delayed. And I clicked priority ride because I got nervous. And now it's going to take like six minutes to get here at that time. I'm still going to be on time, I think, but it's like boring, right? So I think that everyone is calling a ride right now. Okay, he's one minute. I gotta go out. Ooh, it's kind of slowing. No, it's not. All right, my umbrella. It's like rain <laughs> on your wedding day. It's like the free ride that you already paid. <laughs> Glad I can have some fun by myself. Kind of an echo in here. It's like a little cave. <laughs> minutes to spare. I'm part of the early crowd actually, so now I'm kind of just looking around. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. The wedding was really fun last night and I got home kind of late at like 1.30. Yeah, it was a late wedding. It was a really, really good time. I got some good sleep. And then this morning I got breakfast with my friend and her husband near my Airbnb. They were like on a walk and we met up. So that was really nice. I had this like smoked salmon croissant. It was delicious. So the weather's a bit better today. Like I feel like I got nothing fun done yesterday or I didn't get to explore at all because it was like pouring rain and I didn't have an umbrella, but today's just cloudy. So so this brunch is at noon. It's 11 o'clock right now. I think I'm gonna try to go to a couple thrift stores since I didn't get to yesterday. Beacon's Closet and Tired Thrift. Yeah, they open at 11. They just opened four minutes ago. And then after our brunch, I'm gonna get together with one of my girlfriends. Let's get ready for the brunch. It's time to beautify for a third time. This is like a lot of like getting ready and looking nice. Luckily, it's a bit more cash, but I like dressing up anyway. Okay, you guys, this is my final look for the final event of the wedding weekend. I'm kind of tired of getting dolled up. That's what I have. I did more like natural makeup, just a little bronzer on my eyes. I'm wearing this knit like full length dress from Rent the Runway and boots. Tired Thrift was really cute, but it was like solely Y2K for like a 24 year old girl. So anyway, cute little spot. If you're wearing tiny crop tops and like bubblegum peak and like Britney Spears circa 99. Ooh, I didn't even plan to come to this one. A woke vintage. That looks good. <laughs> Let's go in. Okay, my assessment of a woke, I feel like it's like very mediocre curated vintage for like 
hilarious prices. I understand she's like in Brooklyn, the rent is probably so insane, but it's like $95 for like a very bad acrylic sweater and like really burnt out, not even Harley Davidson tees, like Panama, Florida tee was like 45. I'm like, this is, I don't know, it's not that good for New York. You think I have like the best of the best. So, okay, that was a woke. Let's try to find Beacon and then let's go to lunch. Okay, I found Beacon's closet. That's right over there. It's so funny. This is literally the wedding venue from last night. And I saw some crazy stuff in the window there. I'm like, what store is that in anthropology? Let's go in. Holy heck, you guys, that was like seriously life-changing. If I was in a thrifting mood and like wanted clothes and like was kind of relaxed and have somewhere to be, I could spend probably like an hour, 90 minutes in there. It wasn't just vintage brands, it was like contemporary brands. It was like the literal best mix ever. And the prices were just like extremely fair. And I feel like fair for New York City. I see why so many people were like in there and it was bustling. They had like sick vintage, like way better vintage than a lot of like small curated shops that I've been to. It was just like wild. So if you ever had the chance to go to Beacon's Closet, absolutely jump on it. I just, I don't know. I have to be in the thrifty mood. I'm just not in it. I'm kind of grateful because I just don't need anything right now. I mentioned I've been in like kind of more of a shopping mood recently, but I already like got that fix and I have new stuff in my wardrobe and I'm like really, really, really content with my closet right now. It was just fun to go in and I want to get some footage and just show you guys like what some of the thrift stores or vintage shops in New York have, and I feel like Brooklyn's a good little sample of that. So if you ever have the chance to go to Beacon's Closet, I think there's a few around like Brooklyn slash in Manhattan. Okay, I better map to where this rooftop thing is because I'm walking aimlessly. Good evening, you guys. I'm back at the Airbnb. It's literally 7.30 on a Saturday night and I'm in bed. I'm just so wiped from the wedding and I'm flying out really, really early. I really had a good time thrifting, actually. It was like a quick little spurt through these shops and I know I didn't buy anything, but for me, I feel really creatively like inspired by thrifting. It weirdly gives me like a lot of hope and inspiration that there's like a lot of beautiful things that already exist in the world. You just kind of need to seek them. I'm also inspired by people in New York. There's just so many interesting people on the street so much different like personal style and pizzazz it just makes me feel like i want to get dressed and like be myself and be authentic so that's kind of what thrifting does for me in a way whether i actually take something home is just feel interested in the world and interested in exploring myself further and i had a good time doing that the post-wedding brunch lunch was really nice and then I got together with one of my girlfriends from high school. I think I mentioned that my friend Elena, we've known each other since like fifth grade. And she's just like someone I don't see a lot. So we always have so much to catch up on. So we were just like majorly, majorly catching up for like the last few hours. She had a really cute place and she was actually painting a wall in her bedroom. And I just like love cozying up with a friend while they like clean or do laundry. It makes me feel like I'm in high school again. That's what I've been up to. And then I got back here. You guys, it's so funny. I saw the drive-in screen. There's two Halloween movies and then there's the new Taylor Swift era's tour film. It's gonna play on one of these screens. Maybe I can watch it. I was like all jazzed. And then the other two, no joke. It's the freaking, they're Halloween movies. It's The Exorcist. <laughs> and this other one called Trick or Treat. There's three screens. I can see two of them perfectly from my window. One, I can't see at all. And of course, <laughs> the Taylor Swift one is out of sight and I can see The Exorcist playing right now. What a lovely movie for a cozy night in. That is all I have for New York City. I'll see you guys back in Montana. I'm gonna get back to a lot of home content. I haven't done home content in so long. We're moving into our new place in a few weeks. So look forward to that. I feel like that kind of content's like very applicable for real life. So it's going to be good. I love you guys. I hope you have a really, really fun rest of your day, rest of your week. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.